hope everybody is having a lovely day so far. Uh, if you're watching this in the future, my name is Ms. Alex for starting story time uh, just a few minutes early so that everybody can find the feed and log in. So hello everybody, hello, hello. Um, if you logged in a moment ago on take one of this, for some reason Facebook decided to be silly and I was green. What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. Did anybody log in at first and see me when I was green? I had to end the feed and start over. So, um, yeah, <laughs> kind of silly as a result. Good morning, Lucia. Good morning. Um, so when I tried to turn it around, good morning, Gabriel and Anna. Hello. When I tried to flip my, um, my screen so that things don't appear backwards, it turned me green. I looked like an alien. How silly. Do you guys hear that? Do you hear that in the background? What is that? Can you tell from those sounds? Hi, Oscar and Gus. Good morning. Hi, Elise and Ava. Hi. What is that sound? Do you guys know? Hmm. Oh, yeah. I think you're right. It's a garbage truck. There's a garbage truck in front of my house. It's really loud. But garbage trucks are really cool, aren't they? Oh, I wonder. Maybe we can take a look at it real quick as it drives by. Let's see. Whoop! There it goes. Whoa. Cool. All right, we're gonna come back over here. Good morning, good morning, everybody. We are gonna get started. If you're watching live, we're gonna get started right at 11 o'clock. It is not quite that time yet, but we'll get there soon. So did everybody have a lovely weekend? Good morning, Cordelia, hello. Hi, Addison, hello. What did you guys do this weekend? I planted some flowers, or rather, my husband and my kids planted flowers. I just pointed where they go. Good morning, Naomi. Hello. <laughs> what did you guys do this weekend? Good morning, Mama. Hi. Good morning, everybody. Hi, Kai. Hi, Reese. Hi, Jude. Good morning. Hmm. It is really nice out, isn't it? It's beautiful. Do you hear the birds in the background? Ah, oh, there's a nice breeze. Good morning, everybody. Hi. So, if you're watching, um, would love if you could comment in the box and say who's watching. If you want to share the feed, you can do that as well. And we'll get started in just a minute. Good morning, Alyssa, Caleb, Jacob, and Julia. Hi! So good to see everybody! Oh, guess what? It's 11! Ooh, you'll see in a few minutes what we're reading. Hi Lexi, hello! Good morning everybody, hello! My name is Miss Alex and I normally work at the Southeast Library, which is part of the St. John's County Public Library System. So hi! Yay libraries! Good morning Everett! Hi! You guys can keep chiming in with names and I'm gonna keep on saying hi. Hi, Olivia. that's right, Olivia and Freya. Hi guys, all the way across the world. Hi, Blake. <laughs> so we're gonna be reading books about books this morning. <laughs> kind of funny, huh? Hi, James and Catherine. Hello. Hello. Books about books, I promise. It, they're really cool and you're gonna love them but we have to first start our story time by waving hello hello Eliana hello Gabriel hello Becca Joe and Mary Beth and AJ hello we're gonna take two fingers can you show me two fingers one two we're gonna have them hug for friends and then point to her wrist time point to her mouth say and then hello here we go. Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends. It's time 
to say hello 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 and good morning can you guys hear that big truck that's still in the back there's a garbage truck coming by do you guys like to watch the garbage truck in the morning sometimes it's pretty fun they're really big yay so let's get ready can we do our itsy bitsy spider to start off get your fingers ready here we go. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. I love it. Speaking of the sun, we gotta do Mr. Sun. If you guys would like to suggest a song that we've done in story time, Please feel free. If I can't do it today, I'll yeah, excuse me, squeeze it in next week. Because I want to hear which ones you love. What were your favorites from story time? And if I can't remember them, I can definitely do them next week. But right now, we're going to do Mr. Sun. Here we go. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind a tree. Boo! These little children are asking you to please come out so we can play with you. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Sun. And since we're singing about the sun, we've got to sing about the moon because we're going to go zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Okay, here we go. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you'd like to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. In five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Whoa, that was so much fun. I love zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. And I know there are a couple of you out there who like that song too, huh? We're gonna do our, do you remember this one? I've heard that there were some of you singing this out there, outside of story time too. So we're gonna do our glasses. Doot, 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 doot. Put our glasses down, clap our hands together to make a book. Open the book, boop, and close the book. You gotta close it with a clap like that because it's more fun. So let's take a peek inside. Oh, thank you, Elise. Thank you. I like my hat. I think this is officially my story time hat. This keeps me safe from the sun. I love it. Okay, so we're gonna peek inside and see what is in there today. What do you think? Cool. Maybe. Here we go. Really slowly, okay? One, two, three. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, that sounds pretty wild. What kind of animal do you think was inside then? It was a little bit snarly, wasn't it? Should we peek again and see? I'm not sure which animal it was. Let's see, let's really, really slowly peek in again. Ready? One, two, three. Oh my goodness, whoa, I think it, I think it must have been a jaguar, guys. <gasps> oh, maybe it was a dinosaur. <gasps> oh no, whatever it was, it was pretty snarly. So we're gonna <laughs> clap our hands and get rid of whatever that was. Oh my goodness. <gasps> a bear maybe? Whoa, yeah. We haven't, we haven't had a wild animal peeking in from our book in a long time. Normally, mm, normally maybe some monkeys or a kitty cat. You know, they're pretty tame, but that sounded a little scary. Whoa. Okay, I think, I think I need to sing our song. Let's calm down just a little bit. That was, that was pretty scary. So, big deep breath. Here we go. These are my glasses. This is my book. I put on my glasses and open up the book. Now I read, 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 and I look, look, look. I put down my glasses and look. Close up the book once more. These are my glasses. This 
is my book. I put on my glasses and open up the book. Now I read, 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 and I look, look, look. I put down my glasses and close up the book. Thank you for singing that with me. I love it. Thank you. We're gonna do one more song before we read our first book. So we're gonna take our fingers. Okay, this one is called Open and Shut Them. Here we go, ready? Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Lay them in your lap, lap, lap. <gasps> creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them. Right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open wide your little mouth, but do not let them in, in, in. Nice job, guys. Good morning, Isabella. Good morning. So that brings us to our first book. Now, this is going to look backwards to you today because Facebook was giving me some problems and wouldn't let me turn it the right way. It turned me green. So I would rather things be backwards than me be green. So here we go. <laughs> this book is called It's a Little Book. It's a Little Book. And it's by Lane Smith. And we do have permission to read this book from Macmillan. So thank you guys so much for allowing us to read It's a Little Book. Let's see. What is that? Hmm. The donkey doesn't know what that is. Do you guys know what that is? What is that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a book. Is it for, oh, is it for, is it for chewing? Oh, our book's for chewing. No, 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 it's not for chewing. They don't taste very good. And plus, this is a library book. We don't know who's had this one before. We don't want to chew up a library book. Mm -mm -mm, not for chewing. Is it for, oh, is it for wearing? I'm gonna take off that outfit. Am I gonna, oh, what do you think? Should I wear this as my hat instead of my big straw hat? I think it looks very nice. Or maybe not a hat, maybe uh, a cool like bracelet. What do you think? Does that look cool? Is this how I'm supposed to use a book? No, 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 no. He says no, that is not how we use a book. I'm gonna put my hat back on because the book is not a hat. It's not for chewing. It's not for wearing. Is it for, oh, is it a computer? Do I hold it like this and do, 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 No, it's not a computer either. It's not for emailing and all of that. I can't, okay. No, 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 no. Not for chewing, not for wearing, not for computer. Okay. Is it for, oh, this has to be it. Is it for oh, quacking? Can I go like this? Quack, quack. Quack, 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 quack. Quack, quack, quack. <laughs> it's the perfect shape. Quack, 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 quack. No, it's not for quacking either. No. Not for quacking, so not for chewing, not for wearing, not for computer, not for quacking. What do I use it for? I don't know. Is it for, ooh. Is it for flying? <laughs> Can I use it like an airplane? flying either no 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 not for flying so not for chewing not for wearing not for computer not for quacking and definitely definitely not for flying okay let's see is it for uh oh is it for riding let's see Am I supposed to ride it? 
like on a horse. Is this my saddle? No. No, it's not for riding either. Oh man. Okay. What is this book for? If it's not for chewing and not for, what else was there? Not for chewing, not for wearing, not for computer, not for quacking, not for flying, and not for riding. Is it for, <gasps> is it for building? Can I go like this? Look, I made a tent. Ta-da! Is that why we have books? Maybe? No? <sighs> okay. Not for building. Not for chewing, not for quacking, not for wearing, not for computer, not for riding, not for flying, not for building. What could it be for? Oh, somebody said, is it for sleeping? Is it a pillow? <clears throat> it doesn't make a very comfy pillow, so no, I guess not for sleeping either. No, is it for... <gasps> Oh, he's putting it up to his ear. Is it for calling? Doot, 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 doot. Hello? Hello? Oh, guys, it's my mom! Hello? Yeah! I'm doing story time right now, but I'll talk to you later, okay? Uh-huh. Okay, I love you. Bye! Boop! Just kidding. It's still a book. It's not for calling, is it? It's not for any of those things. <gasps> Oh, look, you caught it. Is it for sleeping? Did you read this book before? No, definitely not for sleeping. It's so hard. It is not a nice pillow. Uh-uh, none of those things. No, it's for... <gasps> it's for reading. It's a book, silly. Look, and now they're reading it together. <gasps> I think that's a much better idea, don't you? I love that we can read books together. Oh, it's so fun. Thank you for reading that book with me and thank you, Lane Smith, um, and your publisher as well for letting us read. It's a little book. It's a little book. It's one of my favorites because it's so silly. I love it. Okay, speaking of books and what they're for and then talking about building made me think of something. So I think, oh, hi, Aiden. Thank you for watching story time. We're gonna go on a little adventure because we're gonna do some building. I created this little thing out of chalk. And if you guys wanna do something like this at home too, it might be a fun activity. Another way to use your books rather than just reading them. So I took some chalk. I made a little rectangle that says home. I made a rectangle over here that says library. We've got a river and we've got a basket of books. So we're gonna see what we can make. What do you think? Are you up for the challenge? Yes, that's the right answer. Hooray! Okay, first we need to make our house. So we're gonna go right over here and we're gonna take some books and we're gonna make a house. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. One book, two books. And what colors do we have? We've got, which was this one over here? Red, a red spine. And what about this one over here? Whoop, it's a blue one. Good job, guys. Good job, guys. And I'm gonna take one of the books that we read the week before last, Cars Go, and that's gonna be our roof. Whoop! Ta-da! We have our home. Great job. And we used one, two, three books. Awesome. Now let's see what's next. We go down the road. Oh no! There's a river! How are we gonna get across the river? What do we need to build out of our books? We're so close to the library. We just need something to get across the river. <gasps> That's right! We need a bridge. Absolutely. So we're gonna go ahead and grab some more books. I really like these baby touch and feel books. 
So I'm gonna use a couple of these to build a bridge that's gonna go right across the river so we can get to the other side. We've got Baby Touch and Feel Baby Dinosaur and Baby Touch and Feel Farm Friends and that's gonna get us across the river. Here we go, guys. And how many books did we use this time? Two, absolutely right. Here we go. We made it across the river. And now it's time for our library. We've got to build a library out of books. Now, is the library small? No, the library's really big. So I'm going to use one of these bigger books. Chicka chicka boom boom. You guys know this one, right? And I'm gonna take this one. Whoop. Here we go. Like that. And I'm gonna add some books on top for our roof. On My Beach is an excellent book, and so is Boop Pout Pout Fish. Ta-da! So we used one, two, three books to make our library. Now let's see what our finished town looks like. We've got our house over here. We went down the road and across the river on our book bridge and do 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 made it to the library. Excellent job, you guys. Man, that was fun. Maybe you guys can do that with some books at home too. You know what? Whew, that tired me out. I think it's time to sing a little song. I miss you guys, so let's sing The More We Get Together. And I have an extra special library verse too. It's The More We Read Together. Okay. We're going to start with the more we get together. Here we go. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Because your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. The more we read together, 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 the more we read together, the happier we'll be. Because your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we read together, the happier we'll be. Oh, good job. I have one extra little verse to throw in there. The more we read together, 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 the more we read together, the happier we'll be. Read big books and small books and short books and tall books. The more we read together, the happier we'll be. Yay! I love reading with you guys. Do you like reading with your moms and dads and grandmas and grandpas and everybody too? It's so nice just to snuggle up and read a book, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes when I'm not feeling so good, I sit down on the couch and I get a nice cozy blanket and I read with one of my boys and it makes me feel better. And sometimes it makes them feel better too. So let's read another book. We're going to read This Is Not a Picture Book. And it's by Sergio Ruzier. Hi, Chronicle Books who gave us permission to read this book. So thank you so much. And there's something special about this book because when I open up the cover, whoop, and turn the page, whoop, where did it go? Hang on, hang on. We have, one second, where did this go? Where did this go? I'm sorry, guys. Where did it get to? I was looking for something and I don't see it now, but that's okay. Maybe we'll peek it a little later on. <gasps> Look, a book! And what color is that book, guys? <gasps> yes, it's a red book. Hmm, he's peeking inside to see. <gasps> There are only words in this book? Where are the pictures? He doesn't look very happy about that, does he? 
Do you like books that have pictures or just words? Hmm. This is not a picture book. Wait a second. What's this stuff here? You know what? Guys, look. That's the author's signature. What? The author, the person who wrote and who drew the pictures for this book, signed it. That's too cool. I got to meet him. And he signed it. He even put my name and my little boy's name right there. So cool. It's like meeting a celebrity. Whoa. This is not a picture book. <gasps> oh, dumb book. Hmm. He is not too happy at all. Oh. Is it nice to throw books or kick books? No. That makes me really sad. I think it made him sad too. Because he went over and he said, I'm sorry, book. I'm sorry. Hmm. Maybe he's going to try reading it after all, even though it doesn't have any pictures. Hey, what's that? It's a book with no pictures. Wacky. Can you read it? Do you think he can read it even though it doesn't have any pictures? I'm not sure. <gasps> what just popped up? Oh, I think this might be what's happening in the book. We've got a log and... <gasps> Whoa. Should we keep reading? Should we see where the book goes? Okay, cool. Words are so difficult. Huh. That looks kind of confusing, doesn't it? Words can be hard, especially when you don't know how to read them yet. But I think if you keep at it. Wait! <gasps> I know some of these words. Oh, he's so excited. He recognizes some of them. And now things are starting to make a little more sense. What do you see? Yeah, we've got a flower and a bee. He knows some of these words. Some of them are funny. Ha ha ha, look at that. Look at their hats, big feet and silly socks. Oh my goodness. And look at those guys. That's pretty silly. What do you think? <gasps> Does he have a trumpet for a nose? Oh, these pages are pretty silly, aren't they? They're funny. Oh, so some words are very funny and some are, some are very sad. Can you make a sad face? Some are kind of sad, like oh, all those buildings are, are falling down. That's sad. Sometimes we, we read funny books. Sometimes we read sad books. But there are wild words. Whoa! Look at that sea. That's pretty wild. Oh my goodness. Just like whatever animal was inside our book when we were singing These Are Our Glasses, that one was pretty wild too. There are also peaceful words. Oh, that looks very peaceful. The water is nice and calm. He's laying back in his boat and reading his book. Oh, I like that. And all these words carry you away. Don't they? When you read a book, can you picture all the crazy things that happen? Get transported somewhere else, and then, uh-oh, the bird let go. They're falling, where are they gonna land? And then, they bring you home. Look at that. He's got his nice comfy bed and 
Oh, wow, look at all those books. Do you have a bunch of books at home too? Do you have some books in your room? Maybe not that many. He's got a whole bunch. But he's right. The words, they carry you away and they bring you home. Where they stay with you forever. Look at that. Oh, he loves his book after all, doesn't he? Hmm. Read it again. He really liked that book. Even though they thought it didn't have any pictures. They made all the pictures in their heads. Isn't that cool? All right, guys, we're gonna do one more thing because I always like to leave story time with a challenge for you. And this time we have two. We have our building with books that we did. So you guys be sure to build something with your books. And if you'd like to take a picture and send it to the library online or in the comments, we would love to see what you're doing. But something else that I thought would be fun is making our own book because we all have very important stories to tell, don't we? We can use our imaginations doo -doo -doo -doo, and make our own stories. I think that would be awesome. So I got some artwork from my boys ta -da, on a piece of paper and I also gathered some other papers. So let's see what colors we have here because I'm making a very colorful book. We've got green. We've got, what color is this? Yellow. What else? What about this one? Blue. And last but not least, what color is this? One of my favorites. Pink. Absolutely right. I'm going to take all of my papers with this one on the outside. And I'm going to make a really, really simple book. I'm just going to fold it. <laughs> Line up all the edges. And I'm gonna, there we go. Bend it right there, fold it. And that's gonna be the spine of my book. Ta-da! Let's see, what should be the cover? I think I want this one to be the cover. If you would like, you could even cut some holes or punch some holes into your book and use some string to bind it together so it stays all together. I think I'll do that later on after this. And then you could open up your book and write your very own story. So I'm going to start the first page. Hmm. What should I write? Oh, I know. This is the story of three little, do you think I was going to say pigs? Boys. This is the story of three little boys going to be the beginning of my story because I have three little boys and I'm going to have them decorate the inside of this book. What do you think? Are you guys up for that too? Can you make your own books, whatever they look like, out of whatever you would like? Can you write your own story or draw your own story? And then maybe you can read it to somebody too. If you do this, I would love to see photos. Please, if you would like, share them with us. Okay, guys, it's time to say goodbye, okay? And wave goodbye. And our friends, time to say goodbye. Here we go. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, airplane. <laughs> Goodbye, guys. I hope you have a wonderful week. I love you. I miss you. And I can't wait to see you again, okay? Bye.